Does your kitchen desperately need a makeover, but you just don't have the time or money to do it yourself? You could still enter News 8's Fix My House contest. One lucky winner is going to be glad they did. Joining me now is Denise Van Heys, the owner of a Carpet and Tile by the Mile in Milford. Welcome to Kinetic Hi. Style. <laughs> nice to have you here. Thank you. So you're involved in our contest, but tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about what goes on at your store. Um, we're a flooring store. We sell tile, carpet, laminate, wood, um, cork, green products. Um, and we are going to give the flooring to the person that wins the contest. Very exciting. There's a lot to choose from. There is. Now, do you actually go, can, do you do the installation process also? We can, um, and we do do that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but there are a lot of contractors out there that use our showroom and send their customers our way. And um, we do recommend some other contractors as well. Um, so, and we've been in business since 1995, and we have a lot to choose from, and it can be overwhelming. All right, so Denise, we've decided we need a new floor. How do we start? What's the basics? What should we be asking ourselves? Um, well, the kitchen, the first thing to think about is the design. What kind of design are you looking for? Um, do you want modern? Do you want rustic? Um, there's uh, tons of choices to choose from, so it's really going to be what your style is and what your preferences are, um, what color choices are um, in your kitchen. The best thing to do is bring in a maybe a sample of your countertop, if you're picking a new countertop out, um, your paint colors, your cabinet, mm -hmm. or take a picture, bring it with you. Well, speaking of pictures, while you explain the process, I know we have some pretty elaborate okay. kitchens that we're going to look at right yep. now that uh, are very impressive. Yep. Uh, here um, we go. Ooh la la, look at that. Um, it's just, you know, a, a traditional kitchen that's more of a modern kitchen. Um, and the choices are endless, really. Um, the best thing to do is not get overwhelmed and just put into perspective how you live. And um, we could, you come in with those ideas and we help you pick out the right floor for you. So okay. it could be a ceramic tile, it could be a porcelain tile. And people just have, um, don't know enough about the two. So I'm going to do a little demonstration. Yeah, show us because you've brought some samples here. Okay, so this is a porcelain tile. And the way to tell if it's porcelain or not is if the water absorbs it into it and it just sits basically on the top and it doesn't absorb okay so this would be good for outside exterior or commercial jobs um, where there's maybe a lot of water okay right. but in it is denser it is harder um, so it's great for kitchens but that's not to say that ceramic won't hold up as well because I do have ceramic in my kitchen it's been fine okay um, it doesn't have any chips in it at all and cracking is usually um, improper installation so if you get cracking it could be settling in your house but most of the time it's improper installation so here's a ceramic and you see the water starts starts to absorb in so shower floors um, this isn't the right thing okay. for you on um, the walls probably fine um, but the porcelain would be a better choice um, for a shower floor or commercial All right. um, but there's you know plenty of some other samples yes. let's go take a look okay so. Oh, yeah, this I would assume is a pretty backsplash. I that, love that. Well, you could do that in a bathroom. You could mix that in with other tile as well. You can get maybe this tile and do four by fours or six by sixes. Um, and then this is nice too because it could be cut because it comes on a sheet. Oh. You can cut it into um, how thick you want to have maybe a band at eye level. Um, but it is great for a backsplash. Um, this is another stone. Um, would this be more in a bathroom? Or, I mean, I guess it no, could go you could do way, kitchen. Right? Definitely do it in kitchen, um, but people do do it in their bathroom. Um, this is another stone for either a backsplash or um, a bathroom. And the, the thing about stone is you have to be careful how you clean it. You can't use bleach. Um, you probably wouldn't want to do stone on your kitchen floor because you're going to deal with food. You're going to have oil. You might have vinegar. Mm -hmm. um, and it does stain easily. And it is a maintenance. Um, you, it does require maintenance. So you do have to use a stone sealer. You do have to use a stone cleaner. Um, if you want the look of stone, um, but maybe with a porcelain, you could do something like this um, because it's, it has a lot of shade it variation. Looks like stone still, yeah, though, for yeah. Sure. And it's porcelain, so really all you have to do is damp mop it. Great. Um, and then there's different shade variation in the tile, so you get the look of more of a rustic look. Um, and then if you wanted more of a modern look, maybe this tile under here would be better for you. Um, it's linear, it's mm -hmm. longer, um, and more of a solid color, more monochromatic. Okay, so, and it looks like you have some flooring here. We have about 30 yeah. seconds okay. left, but a lot of variety still here. Yep, so basically there's bamboo. These are more of the green choices. Mm -hmm. um, very dense and very hard, so it's very durable. Okay. Um, and then there's wood, just another tile here, just to give you more options. Um, and cork, too, um, is very good underfoot. It's very, uh, has antimicrobial properties in it. Okay. Um, so that's another good option for kitchens. And then, of course, there's just 
just your, you know, typical wood flooring. All right. And, and then we do carpet. Great. Right. <laughs> We're all out of time, but lots of possibilities yes, here. Absolutely. Fantastic. We'll have to come visit you in okay. Milford. Uh, there's still time to enter the Fix My House contest. Just go to WTNH.com. In addition to the carpet and tile by the mile, we want to thank uh, the rest of our sponsors. You see them right on our screen there. Plus Shaw's Remodeling, Halix and Viking Kitchen Cabinets. All the information for carpet and tile by the mile is on your screen. That was great. Thank, thank you for you. being here. All right, there's more Connecticut style.